Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to use the cork posture rolls to roll out our feet. So these are kind of like, yeah, you can use them for lots of different things. It's not just for laying on and allowing your spine to melt. We can use these as basically like a foam roller. Um, I think that's actually what they are originally, but we've kind of repurposed them into being um, spinal reshapers, shall we say. So rolling out the bottom of your feet on the sides of your feet and your toes is a really, really, really beneficial thing to get in the habit of doing. Not only does it mobilize all those sticky little bones and joints of the feet um, and also the plantar fascia and the muscles of your feet, but it's really nice to have this feedback from the bottom of your feet to your brain. So this is definitely an area that I like, don't know that much about, but the feedback from the bottom of our feet is really important when it comes to just like all of our senses and our body awareness and our proprioception and stuff like that. And it's one of the many reasons why spending time barefoot outdoors is really good for us because we're getting that feedback from varied terrains and textures and um, it gets our brain working really hard shoes and the way that we have all that silly foam and cushioning and insoles and all of that all of that stuff it's stopping us getting that feedback from the bottom of our feet so this is not only a like foot mobility posture type thing it's also a brain connection thing um, where we're trying to stimulate the many nerve endings that we have on the bottom of our feet which are probably a little bit dead most of the time. I'm going to just pick up my timer here. So I don't want you to like overly think about this particularly. You can do this standing, you can do this sat on the floor, you can do this in a chair, it doesn't have to be standing. And I'm just going to set my timer here and I'm just going to roll my foot sort of forwards and backwards along in a kind of straight line. So hopefully you can see that nicely in the camera like this. I'm just at this point focusing more on the plantar fascia, so the sort of area between the ball of the foot and the um, heel. We're moving forwards and backwards. We'll do a little bit more of just like a forward backwards motion. And then in three seconds time, here we go, let's go on the instep a little bit more. So we're gonna sort of slightly change the angle of the foot so that we're getting more in the um, inner arch of the foot like this. Again, you can do as much of a length roll up and down as you want, but I'm sort of focusing more on that like middle third of the foot is probably the best way of describing it. And then in three seconds time, we're gonna go along the outer edge of the foot, two, one, so swap that there. And that for me definitely feels a bit more knobbly bobbly. I've got my sort of lumpy bone bits on the outside edge of my foot uh, from just the formation of my Taylor's bunions and I can't remember the name of the muscle that feeds into my fifth or our fifth toes um, but I'm definitely very dysfunctional on the outside edge of my feet and actually as I do this I can kind of feel how there's something happening around my left glute my left lateral hip which feels quite nice okay and that's about 30 seconds on the outside of the foot so i'm just you know playing around here a little bit if you want to focus more specifically on specific on certain parts of your feet then feel free i am just teaching you ways in which we can think about using these but i don't want you to be get too like scientific about things just explore and see what feels good for you so i'm just going to focus here on maybe 30 seconds where it's more in the toes and the ball of the foot. So sort of getting in at the big toe joints, getting in at the um, ball of the foot in the center, rubbing that outside kind of toe, just stimulating everything a little bit differently. Keep breathing. Just notice if you're clenching your jaw or clenching your belly. Keep the upper body nice and relaxed. The other good thing about this is you're doing a little bit of single leg stability work as well because your right foot or your standing leg is going to be taking the weight of most of your body. And then for the final thing that we'll do on this, start, uh, uh, on this foot is we'll just roll more along the kind of ankle and the heel. So again, make sure you're getting like a left to right type thing going on. You're doing it from all angles. You're not just going straight ahead, forwards and backwards. And 
when you do this, and this really does go for any posture exercise, but find the bits that feel the most tense and awkward for you. Yours are gonna be different to mine. So you focusing on the same bit of your foot that I focus on isn't necessarily gonna be the most beneficial to you. Follow your body's intuition. Where it feels tense, where it feels like it's a big stretch or an intense feeling, that's probably where you need to focus on, as long as it doesn't hurt. So you're finding that edge of effort and ease. The breathing stays relaxed, we're never forcing anything. We'll do another five seconds here. Just back over, forwards and backwards, and then we'll do the other foot. Okay, so we'll do exactly the same thing. We'll do, just slightly change the angle here. There's my football skills being put to a test. So I'll just set my timer, because I spoke a bit on the other side. So we'll just do like two minutes, just kind of getting a sense of this feeling. Bit of a seesaw motion, should feel quite nice. How hard you press on this is up to you. So obviously the harder you press, the more um, intense the sensation is gonna be. You might just wanna lightly brush it forwards and backwards to start with. But let's just get that kind of general straight roll where we're sort of doing the whole length of the foot. So all the way to the ankle, tops of the toes, just getting that feedback, like feel how that feels to rub your foot forwards and backwards. It feels very nice, I think. And actually, I haven't done this in the video today because I wanted to have the camera kind of angled on my feet. But the next time you do this for me, test to see how easy you find touching, uh, bending forwards and touching your toes. So before you do this, just bend forwards, try and touch the floor, see how far you go. Do this video and get your foot mobilized and then try it again because for some people it's like a magic trick where they hold so much tension in the bottoms of their feet that they can't bend forwards at their hips so the, the foot is the dysfunction and then by rolling out the feet they can really change how much they can bend forward. We'll do another 30 seconds left here just kind of moving the foot up and down just in general trying to cover everything in a sort of straight line, but as much of the foot as you possibly can. And then we'll do those like more specific focuses like we did on the other side. And hopefully I'll remember what I did. Okay, so we've got three, two, one. So now what I want you to do is to go a little bit harder and focus more in that center of your foot. So this is like more between the ball of the foot and the um, ankle, and just more focus on the middle, and then we'll do the inside edge and the outside edge. So we'll do another, just over 10 seconds here, trying to find an amount of pressure that you can deal with. Upper body stays relaxed, breathing stays relaxed. Three seconds, two, one, and then we'll do the inside edge of the foot. Probably not ideal for me as I still have glass in my foot from me being um, an idiot at my wedding and getting glass in my foot. So that is where it is, but actually it doesn't really hurt to do that. So inside edge, massaging out sort of between that big toe joint and the ankle on the inner arch of the foot. We've got three seconds left here. Three, two, one. And then we're gonna do the outside edge of the foot so again, glass aside, this feels more impactful for me. Much more knobbly on the outside edge. And then we'll stick with the ball of the foot and the toes. So I find this a little bit harder to like orientate, but kind of like the challenge actually of like not losing the roll. So I'm kind of doing a bit of, oh, my big toe just clicked. That sounded good, like big toe rubbing. I might stay a bit longer than 30 seconds on this bit. It just feels kind of beneficial for me to focus a bit more on this upper portion of my right foot. 
getting a bit of clicking through my toes. I used to have a Morton's neuroma in my right foot and um, the Morton's neuroma is gone, but sometimes I can still get a kind of clicky, bony sensation in between my second, no, my third and fourth toes, sorry, on my right foot. So it kind of feels nice to get them moving a little bit. Three, two, one, and then we'll focus on the back of the heel. So with this heel, you're staying at the back, but just make sure you're like taking things in different directions. It's quite nice to get like this rotation at the hip at the same time. So my pelvis and my leg, my other leg is staying still and I'm kind of rotating my right um, knee here into internal rotation, feeling a bit crampy on the outside edge of my right hip. And then also massa um, rolling out into external rotation, also feeling a bit crampy in my right hip. And that is time. So hopefully that's given you a slightly different way. I'll peek my head down. Hey. Um, hopefully that's given you a slightly different way to think about your cork rolls. And I will be doing more of these uh, sort of foam rolly, myofascial release things with them as well in future videos. So see you soon and enjoy.